Hello and welcome into another edition of This Week in Campbell Basketball. I'm your host, Bill Priestley. It's been an eventful week here in the creek with crazy hats, crazy snow, and some crazy basketball to boot as well, including one Sports Center moment. Chris Haymeyer and Evan Budrovich recap the week that was in Campbell men's basketball. The Camels have now won four of their last five, and what a wild week, Evan. It started with Chris Clemens' uh, amazing last-second three-pointer to give Campbell a home win over High Point. That was a play that led SportsCenter that night. It ended up in the top ten, and then the roller coaster ride, well, went to a bottom. They went up to Longwood, just couldn't shoot, but a great bounce-back game on Thursday night. Defense was the key for Campbell as uh, they really dominated Charleston Southern, a 62 to 47 final. As we mentioned in this conference, no game is a gimme one way or the other, and Campbell came out strong in the defensive effort against Charleston Southern, really limited their ability to shoot the basketball. Chris Clements was great in that final game, and even throughout the course of this week, Campbell needed to go 2-1. and one. They got to that point and set themselves up for a big week ahead. Also, rebounding. This was a team that Coach Kevin McGeehan challenged after that loss on the road at Longwood. He challenged them, and they came up big on the boards. Not only that, but it was a balanced rebounding effort. Andrew Udy nearly 10 boards. Shane Whitfield did a great job defensively on Christian Keeling, and just an overall team effort to slow down a pretty good scoring team. Uh, Going to be big for Campbell before two road games games they take on the number one team in the conference it's Radford coming up here at Gore Arena Sunday at 2 p.m. The women's team went one and one this past week with a win over Charleston Southern and a loss to High Point which puts them at two and three in the Big South Conference standings right now. However even though they do have a losing record coach Ronnie Fisher is still optimistic about the team's future. I saw some some really good signs and and we're like I said we're not that far off which is encouraging. We just we just turned that ball over in some key situations, and we also had some good looks, and we just weren't able to convert and a few defensive breakdowns, but we competed and we were there, and like I told our kids, the gap is not very big, but we've got to close it. With that, we'd like you to get to know one of the senior leaders on this year's team, a player that missed last year due to injury, but is mentoring younger players as they move along in the Campbell women's basketball program. Get to know senior Sarah Smith. I'm Sarah Smith. I'm a senior forward from Jasper, Georgia, and I'm a biology pre-PA major. It's actually a pretty funny story. So my mom actually played in college at Mercer, and I was looking through her yearbook one day, and I saw her with little itty bitty short shorts and the really tall socks up to your knees. And I was like, Mom, what are you doing? I was probably like seven. And she was like, oh, I'm playing basketball, told me the story and everything. And then that year, she signed me up for rec ball, rec basketball. And funny thing is, my first basketball game was actually on my eighth birthday. So, Just from the- Eight points that day? No, I probably had like 12, because I was like <laughs> super tall for my age, so <laughs> towered over everybody. Jasper is a small town, about an hour north of Atlanta in the like foothills of Georgia. So there's about eight stoplights. We just got a Walmart and a Dunkin' Donuts, so that, can tell, that tells you about it. <laughs> when I visited campus, I was right at home. There was nobody on campus. It was just the old, the old coaching staff. Um, felt right at home, like didn't, didn't really want to go visit anywhere else. So it was really motivating sitting, or sitting there and watching last season was really hard, but really motivating because you just, you want so bad to be out there helping them, and now here is your chance to be out there and help, be out there and help. Um, like, sky's the limit here, Big South Championship is what we're shooting for, so. That's going to do it for this week's edition of This Week in Campbell Basketball. Remember, men's basketball home on Sunday at 2 p.m. as they take on Radford. Women's basketball is next at home the following Saturday. I'm Bill Priestley, and we'll see you next week on This Week in Campbell Basketball.